Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 16th of September 1955, the Revolución Libertadora began in Argentina, which resulted in the end of Juan Perón's second term as president. Juan Perón had been elected president of Argentina in 1946, with overwhelming support from the country's working class, thanks in large part to his wife, Evita. Perón went on to win a second term, but before long the economy began to falter. This coincided with Evita's death from cancer in July 1952, and the president soon found his support amongst the working classes declining. By 1955, the government had become increasingly repressive. The Catholic Church began to turn against the president in the face of controversial legislation that sought to legalise prostitution and divorce, and in return was threatened with the separation of church and state. Meanwhile, Perón lost the support of large swathes of the military. Just days after a 100,000 people had joined a Corpus Christi procession, that turned into an anti-Peron demonstration, 30 Navy and Air Force aeroplanes killed more than 300 people when they bombed the Plaza de Mayo and the Casa Rosada in Buenos Aires. Although this revolt was put down, tensions continued to mount. On the 16th of September, the military in Cordoba seized control of the city and large swathes of the country's armed forces came out against the president, Within just two days, Buenos Aires was facing a blockade and the country was on the brink of civil war. With no other options open to him, Perón resigned the presidency on the 19th of September and fled to exile in Paraguay. Four days later, General Eduardo Lenardi, one of the coup's leaders, became the provisional president after being greeted in Buenos Aires by the largest crowd in the city's history. 